Try to instill a sense of sustainability and stewardship in our community. We are now at the county's nursery, and with me is co-founder of Growing Solutions, Don Harley. How are you, Don? I'm doing great. Thanks for coming over. Oh, we're glad to have you in our show. Your organization is such a positive thing for our environment here in Santa Barbara. And I love the name Growing Solutions. It's very, very positive. So why don't we start by explaining what's the mission of this organization? Growing Solutions' mission is to do education to better improve our environment and try to instill a sense of sustainability and stewardship in our community. Great. Now, when was it founded? What's the background of it? About 1997, we um, got involved in teaching at City College, and from there, we moved over to the high school, and we started growing plants over there and teaching restoration ecology. At that time, a lot of work needed to be done on our local creeks, and so for the first five years or so, we did a lot of creek restoration work. Since then, we've expanded out to covering all different habitat types and all different age groups. Let's talk about more about those educational programs. I know you have a special one called Healthy Habitat Program. Yes, ma'am. We do. Um, the Healthy Habitat Program, uh, is in, we are involved at the Santa Barbara High School Green Academy, which we created uh, at the uh, City College, where we teach restoration ecology. We also uh, work out in the Channel Islands. Uh, we work with community groups from Isla Vista all the way to Summerland. But what we do is we get community groups together and we find a piece of property that's been damaged and we fix it. We restore it to its original ecological function. Tell me more about the experience with the students. What do you expect them to learn from these classes? Well, they should have a good understanding of their local environment, their sense of place. By the time that they get through the program, they should really know what they're looking at when they go around the community. They should be able to tell what's a healthy habitat and what's degraded and what needs to be fixed. Perfect. Now, let's talk more about the Green Academy. Do you do research there, too? The Green Academy is a high school program run by a really neat young teacher, Jose, and it's uh, advanced environmental studies classes, advanced biology classes. The classroom is actually in, in part of a greenhouse and the students are not just learning about restoration, they're learning about alternative energy, they're learning about solar, they're learning about wind energy, that kind of stuff. Now I would like to hear more about your projects dealing with sustainability. Can you mention a few? Well right now we're working on a green collar job training program and that's all part of the Recovery Act that's coming through the federal legislation and as we shift to a more sustainable society we're going to need trained people to do wind and to do solar and to do restoration and to do alternative transportation stuff but the training has to be there now we've been doing restoration training now for 12 15 years and that's all part of sustainability too but now the energy issue seems to be front and center especially since gas prices got up to over four bucks last year and people are starting to pay attention to how much fuel we have left and how much oil we have left and uh, you know it's time to change that pretty soon but we need to train workforce and that's what we're working on now tell me about the projects that deal with restoration well we're working on the Channel Islands Santa Barbara Island with the Park Service and we're working on Santa Cruz Island with the Park Service the Nature Conservancy the U.S. Geological Survey on some really neat creek restorations, rare plant stuff, a variety of habitat types out there. Um, we've restored a county park in Summerlin called the Greenwell Preserve, really neat site. Uh, we work quite a bit in Isla Vista and out towards Elwood, restoring grasslands. Uh, the Goleta Slough we've been involved with for over eight years. A lot of these projects take five, seven, nine years to complete, so it's an ongoing process. Tell me more about the nursery where we are right now. What's so special about this place? Well, this is uh, our largest production nursery. We have five other nurseries. Uh, this nursery was built here to grow plants for county restoration projects. So any project that's done on county property that needs native plants, um, we do local genetics, so all the seed that is planted here is all locally collected here, and these, pro these plants will go back to a whole slew of projects within the county from all different habitat types. 
Now, the site itself is a former, former landfill down below, 35 acres. Uh, it's an old dump. And so we're slowly restoring the dump into a passive open space native park. Uh, we've done seven acres or nine acres of the total 35 acres. So the students are actually helping turn, and the, and the neighbors of El Sueño, turn this uh, dump into a really nice piece of habitat. Already we're seeing all kinds of craters coming back, lots of birds, and, and just the wildlife is uh, recovering. Another great effort. Now, how do you get funded? Oh, we get funded from a variety of foundations, from our membership, from some plant sales. Um, it's the soft money chase, you know, lots of grant writing. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, it's a never-ending task. That's another one of my jobs is fundraising. <laughs> so it's not easy. <laughs> How can people help you or volunteer, maybe? Oh, we have a nice web page, uh, growingsolutions.org. And if you get a hold of us on that, there's uh, volunteer opportunities so they can stay close to home and, and restore a piece of habitat in their neighborhood. Uh, the phone number is 452-7561. Well, thank you, Don, for all that information, and I wish the best for you and your organization. Thanks for coming. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.